Styles, so I wanna make sure somewhere in the chicken crap top triple and do them. Hey guys, his name is Light, and since I am super late on these all these reviews, I'm just gonna do it in one episode since I am rushing and I will get back on track um, after I watch all these shows this week. But yeah, so this is gonna go from this the first one we're gonna do is Gotham. Um, so we're gonna do the Scarecrow, two Scarecrow ones, and then the uh, Arrow from episode 10 to 14. And yeah, I'm just gonna do those two reviews. Flash, I'm already caught up with. I think I caught up with them i should be caught up with them i should check if i'm caught up with them pretty sure i am because i totally remember reviewing the firestorm episode but anyway while i check let's get right into it so the gotham episodes were featured scarecrow and as you guys know scarecrow is one of my favorite villains officially now the riddler's my favorite villain. i just love the riddler now it's because of that show and especially because of the channel wise and i just I don't know how, how I think it's because of Arkham Knight that got me really into Scarecrow. But yeah, let's go on. So the Scarecrow episodes, this guy, John, um, Gerald Crane, which is Scarecrow's father, kidnaps people and um, tries and takes the fear glance out of them. Yes, I'm caught up on the Flash. Well, but um, yeah. And uh, what happens is he takes the, he takes the thing, the fear gland. I don't know what it's called. I think it's the fear gland. And um, what happens is. When he takes him, he um and he 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 injects he takes him out when he um when they're at their when they hear the most thing and you know they're all doing it when they're fearing at their most fear point and you know he injects it to himself in the second episode to overcome fear because his wife died and he's afraid that he failed her or something like that and you know just he got all mad and, you know I mean not mad but like you know and he injected Jonathan and Jonathan was scared shitless because he was he was injected too much of him. And, um, and he has now, it's, he's probably not going to recover from that fear toxin. He's now in, um, like, c permanent state of fear. And he's going to get over that when he becomes Scarecrow. Because, um, Scarecrow cannot fear anything. He only fears the Batman. And, yeah. Um, next we have the Arrow. So the, the Canary Trilogy was fucking awesome. I loved it. Um, the little mini act they had was episode 10 to 13. I loved the um I loved how they um kept Oliver out for one episode. I was hoping they would keep him out keep him out for the entire um, episode. They brought him back alive at the end of episode ten and I was like, oh finally. But um yeah. Felicity, what the fuck is going on with her? First she was crying for Oliver and now she's just like, fuck you Oliver, I don't like you no more. Uh, I didn't mean everything I said, but yeah, it's kinda confusing how they're going with that character. <sighs> and Jesus, yeah, that's uh, that's about what they have. That's about what I have on my thoughts for Felicity. Next up is um, what the, when they went to go fight Brick. Brick is doing his Al Capone crap. Um, Ralph, Ray Palmer is getting his Adam suit and everything, and getting ready to build his Adam suit. And uh, there's a big fight with between um, the vigilantes. I'm gonna call them the vigilantes and. Burke's army and they fight. Malcolm Merlin almost kills the son of a bitch. Um, Green Arrow comes back, or the Arrow comes back, and uh, Jesus, this is so long. And everything goes, everything is fine now. He's back, except Felicity, which she hates him now because he wants to work with Malcolm Merlin. He showed that's not cool because he has to. Uh, he is, now there is a tension. Now there's tension between uh, Felicity and Oliver. Uh, next episode, Canary again. There's two. You get to fight two Canaries, which I thought was epic. When Sarah and Laurel Lance finally fought, did not know what she had in their hand until that episode. I figured it out. It was a nice stick. I did not know it was a nice stick she had. Um, that she had a stick. Just repainted it, and uh, you know, gets all that crap. Fights her sister, gets paranoid, tells her dad. Finally, almost dies of a heart attack. A uh, strange shadow walks between them. Didn't, thought that was a police fan or something else. Take note of it. And yeah, holy crap. Yeah, this is just one of those things that I'm probably going to do now. If I am late on it. So I just have to go through the entire thing. Just break it down into like the one single video. Just so um, it wouldn't be too long. And I don't have to do it. But yeah, so this is the Gotham and Arrow uh, episode review. 
Hope you guys enjoyed. Remember to give it a like. I am out of breath. Rate, comment, and subscribe, you guys. Dig us and dig us. This is Nameless Light, and I will see all you Bat Brothers in the next episode. Or, wherever I make another video. Peace. Oh, rate, comment, subscribe to Nameless Light. Oh, get to chopper. Oh, do it all blue to pieces. Oh, get to chopper. Oh, pieces boom, man. Oh.